Howdy, folks. Would you love us to need coffee.com here? Uh, they didn't pay for I actually paid for this, so it's not like an endorsement or something. It's just a big thing. Um, so we're back here for another Way Homer. Um, and we're in my car. And this is how this works. Uh, I've just left the cinema, and I've seen a film. And I'm going to tell you about the film on my way home. And uh, this is too big for any of the cup holders. Thank you so much for your service. And because that was a vault, next time we're here, mutant flowers will have grown. Okay, so today we're here to talk about the warrior's way. All right, now, synopsis. Synopsis is uh, cowboys and ninjas, full stop. No, uh, the full synopsis is that uh, there's this guy, and honestly, I didn't even catch the character name. I should have checked in the credits because he's always referred to as laundry man or swordsman guy or something, anything but, you know, his actual name. And uh, he is a badass swordsman, ninja guy. And he is in, uh, his clan of ninja swordsman people are basically at war with some other clan of ninja swordsman people. And uh, they've managed to wipe out the entire other enemy clan of swordsman ninja people who wear black. And, except for a baby. And when faced down with his baby as the last of his enemy, swordsman guy decides that he's not going to kill the baby because it's a baby. And uh, because he's not going to kill the baby, he has to go on the run. And decides that he will run to America. Specifically to the west, um, where to the edge of the desert, where a friend of his was supposed to live. And, uh, and hide out there. As you can probably imagine, and as if you have seen the trailer, you know that that doesn't work too well and all kinds of hijinks ensue. But that's pretty much what you need to know as far as the synopsis goes. Although I could have just said Cowboys and Ninjas, because really, if you think about it from a trailer standpoint, <clears throat> what the film promised was Cowboys and Ninjas, fighting. Um, uh, you know, and it was implied in the trailer ludicrously fighting. Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like, um, and I hesitate to use this because somewhere Doc Ezra is going to start bleeding from the nose, but it's kind of like Starship Troopers and that the Starship Troopers trailer basically promised you bugs and guns. It didn't necessarily promise you a plot or, or character development or logic or anything else. It just said, hey guys, bugs and guns. Are you cool? And I was like, I'm cool. Let's do bugs and guns. Same thing with this trailer, where it's like, okay, Cowboys and Ninjas. And then if anything else is above Cowboys and Ninjas, then that's all well and good. Or like Transformers, where Transformers was basically supposed to be about robots kicking each other's ass. But things got in the way of the promise of robots kicking each other's ass. Here, very little, I'm, I'm proud to say, very little gets in the way of Cowboys versus Ninjas, which is the whole point of the film. And, um... Now you have you have some character development, yes, and you have some development of the town, yes, and you have some backstory to explore, yes, and you you it's obvious from the trailer. I'm not giving anything away from the trailer, but but there's a love story involved with Kate Bosworth, who is basically Jesse, live action Jesse from Toy Story, honestly. Although this is probably the best role she's ever had, go figure. Um, so and and you've got the whole thing with Jeffrey Rush, uh, basically slumming, which is like what he does in the Pirates movies now, I guess. I don't know. He did this movie so he could afford to do King's Speech, is basically what it is. So you can't fault him for that. Um, but you have all of that. But in the end, Cowboys and Ninjas. So it keeps coming back to my original three-word synopsis, which is almost my three-word review. Um, as long as you get Cowboys and Ninjas, then you're, you're fine. And you do get that, and you do get some fun battles. And yes, 
things make no sense, logic takes a back seat, but you're set up for it in the fact that the film is basically set up like a comic book. In fact, so much so, you would probably think that it was, you know, it feels like somebody's graphic novel that they couldn't get made as a graphic novel, and so they sold it as a screenplay, honestly. Because it is set up with that, that look and feel of a comic book. And so once you understand that you're in a comic book, a comic book with Cowboys and Ninjas, you're so far removed from reality that it would take a lot to really kick you out of the film. I mean, if they started to try to go all Merchant Ivory on your ass and get really serious about the love story or try to make some huge sweeping uh, message about, you know, warfare and stuff like that, no. Cowboys, Ninjas. <clears throat> now, um, I will say this. I must warn you. There is a line from the trailer that you will be looking for in the film. It is not there. However, Danny Houston will provide you a line that will make you happy in its place. Because we'll always have the trailer. Um, so, I mean, here's the thing. If you are, like me, excited about Cowboys versus Ninjas, then, by all means, get some friends together on a weekend matinee, like now, Maybe have a couple drinks beforehand, go in with four or five people, have a blast, okay? If this is your thing. If this is not your thing, or you looked at that trailer and did not immediately know that it was your thing, then it is not your thing, and you should stay away and wait, maybe catch it on DVD or, or something. Uh, Netflix, whatever you crazy young whippersnappers are doing these days. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, for the fan, it's going to be worth catching on the big screen because of all the carnage. Um, and uh, and for everyone else, yeah, sure, catch it on home video and you'll be fine. Um, but a decent film, and it delivered on its promise, its three-word promise, and then had some fun dialogue in there and, and some and some cool fight scenes and, and stuff like that. So it actually, it actually delivered a little bit above and beyond what it was going to do. So I say cup-wise, I would probably give it a three out of five. A decent showing, not spectacular, but then again, with three words, a cup for each word. There you go. I'm giving it a cup for each word. So that's it. The Warrior's Way. Jeffrey Rush. Having fun and slumming. Aren't we all? So, uh, thank you for those of you who watch these things. I hope you find them informative. I hope you have been drawn towards films you wouldn't otherwise see or been scared away from films that you would have seen. And I hope that you were able to spend that time more wisely. Um, we are in December, so I will tell you that, uh, uh, as always, if you are going to buy stuff through Amazon, if you do it through the website, if you go to the Amazon search box on the right-hand side of the page, on the front page, you will find a place where you can search for things, and you're going to buy it anyway, buy it through us and we get kickbacks. That helps us out a great deal. Um, and so that's pretty much it. So until next time, I will say bye.